I'm going to show you a trace that I use for catching grunter. Uh, what we require for it is our ba red bait holder, 1-0. It's got barbs on it, so it actually holds the prawn bait on quite nicely. It's offset as well. Our number 6 swivel, 3-way. Sinker, cone preferably, depending on the wash. 12.5 kilo maximum nylon is what I prefer. You can use a softer alternative nylon if you want. Uh, thin latex cotton and just a knife or a pair of scissors. Okay, to make the trace, very simple. Take some nylon. Just using a figure of eight to attach the nylon to our hook. When using Maxima, it's very important that you actually try and stretch the nylon before you actually go and fish. So pull it quite hard and it'll lie nice and limp. Right there. About 40 to 50 centimeters in length. Three-way swivel. You don't want to use any flotation in this bait as grunter feed on the bottom. And the best way to look for grunter is look for two separate banks with that soft rolling white water on it and throw right onto the bank. Okay, very important that. Your sinker trace needs to be in my opinion slightly longer. I've seen a lot of people use a shorter sinker trace, half the length of the actual hook trace. It does work, but I find it tangles up quite a bit, so it's not for me. Because I'm looking for that soft white water, that generally tells me that there's not a lot of current around, hence the cone sinker, guys, just remember that. Okay, what we're doing, first cracker, generally the biggest ones you can find. Take a red bait holder, we start at the bottom, go through, all the way until where the stomach starts. Pull it all the way through, take that, and go just under the head, and pull that one through. That. So it basically sits like that. Then what we do is we take another prawn, lay it next to it, and we start using our thin latex cotton, because you don't want to use a thick one for this as it becomes too obvious. Grunter are very, very skittish fish. So going as light as possible on a sinker makes a big difference. And all I'm doing is actually tying around the head area. Take my third one. And try and keep those claws open. So basically take them like that. And at the end, all I'm doing is just Taking the claws, tying them up, and I'm still only around the head. Okay, still around the head. Then what I do is I quickly go down to the bottom, trying to miss out the stomach part as much as possible. Because what happens is if you do, you see how it starts to squeeze out all the juice and the stomach parts of the actual prawn. And you tie up around here around the, the tail part and quite a bit at the end there we go so guys that's basically what it looks like as far as the bait we tie a lot around the head around the claws and then around the actual hard tail part and that is the length of my trace 
like I say, it's about 50 centimeters in length, between 40 and 50, depending on how turbulent the water actually is. And that will lie on the bottom, and this will move around as the water's moving it. And of course, the grunt will come along and feed on it. You can catch stumpies on it, you can catch pompana on it. But that is a deadly bait for grunter.